Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very uh, excited because this is a question that a lot of people is asking me at this moment. Can the stock market goes higher? What do you think? Okay. And before I get started, I think one thing that I want to address is this disclaimer. Okay, this is not an advisory that I'm giving you at this moment. Uh, do do your own due diligence regarding what I'm going to share with you. These are things that you that kept me grounded. Uh, through coming to 20 years of investing my own money and I just want to explore this journey together you know like maybe 10 20 years ago I was really asking myself this question okay and these are the things that I discovered over time now of course I'm not going to show you what happened 20 years ago uh, what I'm going to do with you is to show you with recent data and facts in a sense and then you go and derive your own conclusion whether can a stock market continue to go up even though now everything is so high, right? Okay, let's let's go into it. Uh, a couple of reasons why I personally feel that the stock market will continue to go up is number one, okay? Uh, looking at this word called inflation, okay? Because, I mean, th think of it this way. Uh, things are going to go, what, cheaper or expensive. And if you're working today, you probably know that some of how your company uh, price their product, right? They have an incremental inflation amount many, many uh, over the next few years. Every other year, they prefer to increase their prices. And not just in terms of uh, revenue, in terms of cost also. Think of your increment. Okay, on a year on year, potentially you are on track with inflation or not, in a way. Right, you're doing good times, potentially your increment, uh, your increments will be slightly higher. And all these are passed to who? Consumer. So means what? Companies are likely to grow their revenue in a way. They are going to grow bigger over time. And of course, if you look at the US dollar at this moment, uh, ever since um, the beginning of US dollar creation until today, the US dollar is close to like, it is, I would say it's like worth not that much comparing to back then right uh, how, how come it's because of inflation probably i do not want to use uh, us dollar because we are not the americans right so i give you some statistic from cna channel news asia which is our own news channel that we always go for information so these are uh, slightly backdated data okay looking at some retail prices of key consumer items okay if you look at 2013 uh, thai rice 100 fragrance is probably at 12 plus Right, twelve dollar plus, but in twenty eighteen it went to thirteen dollar. Okay, and the other goods and services over here. So you realize that inflation are affecting our time, in a way. So to me, uh, I feel that since money is not so, uh, good to keep over the long run, that's when I actually go and discover. Since I'm working a company that is growing, um, their revenue, you know, growing my income. Why not invest in companies that can grow over the many years to come? Right? So that's why I feel that assets are likely to be uh, to grow, you know, uh, comparing to inflation where that is working against us. Okay, this is something that we also tell our my friends. Inflation can work for you, which is why you have your um, annual increment. It's working against for you or against you. It's actually working for you. But of course, when you put money in the bank, then it's working against you. Why? Because inflation eats up hundred percent of your money. So that's where I should put my money into assets, right? Another factor that uh, investors has been asking me is that, you know, Elvin, you know, there's uh, interest rate that is rising, you know, will it affect the stock market? Okay, uh, let's understand the macro environment many years ago and today is very different, right? If you look back at in, before 2018, interest rate is rising in a way, but after 2018, if you look at the trend of US interest rate, it has been trending down, right? And I'm going to put a chart over here to let you look at um, the, the trend. And at this moment, there are a few developed countries are even at negative interest rate environment. Is there a likelihood of them to trend upwards? Uh, probably not, I feel, but we never know. But again, it's yes, short term will probably affect the stock market a bit, but you need to remember, you are not just investing in the stock market, you know, and if you, if I give you another chart to look at it, which is S&P 500, okay, since 2018, you realize that over that same period when interest rate is dropping, trending down, the S&P 500 is also trending up in a week, 
right? Short term, yes, it will probably have a have an impact to it. But that's why you need to understand that there are businesses that can grow because of a good interest rate environment. Let's say banks, right? If you own banks during a high interest rate environment, it's actually good. Why? Because bank can actually pass the interest to the lender, right? Or any business owner that borrow money from the banks. So again, it's uh, and it's not just uh, banks. Okay, there are some industry that is actually positive. Uh, it's actually good news when the interest rate environment is going higher. Right. So end of the day, do understand what it means when you are listening to all the noise about interest rate. Right. Uh, like I said, whether it can trend up, quite unlikely because of the debt burden that the world is uh, building up. Uh, you need to understand is assuming now, uh, US. Uh, they have a very huge debt at the back of their mind, right? There's like what, 20 over trillion or going to 30 trillion. For them to start increasing interest rate very strongly means they are going to pay high interest on their own debt. So I don't think it is their interest at this moment to quickly increase the interest rate. Okay, do, do understand. So this is a macro environment that we are dealing with. You know, I can even want to say that in, uh, at least for the next 10 years, 20 years, uh, interest rate going to back then before the 1980s it is really very low probability. I won't say it's impossible, but it's very low. But what I feel that really governs me to continue to invest my money, even though prices has been going so high. You need to remember, looking at this S&P 500, right? Uh, 10 years ago, the high is actually lower than today. Right? So do you realize that 10 years ago, people will still have this question. Oh, uh, hey, the market is so high. Can it go higher, right? So, how do we govern? How do we, how do we become less emotional over time? Okay, two things. One, where I shared with you, which is uh, inflation. Secondly, I feel that you need to look at this as what I call my population. So this is a population uh, projection, a uh, uh, human population pro projection by the UN uh, around the world from. 1950 to uh, 2000 and, uh, 2,000 uh, and 100. Okay, so in, in a sense, for the next what 50, 80 years, right, there is growth. Now think, think of it this way: when there is growth, will will individuals like you and me continue to consume? Yes. In another data, you, you can go and research, right? Our life expectancy for the last 10, 20, 30 years have actually grown. And just to remind you, when there is growth with individuals, people are likely to consume. Of course, they will consume different products, you know, different services. Uh, and, and, and that's why, to me, I, I feel that purely inflation and population, right? You can understand that uh, growth of companies and growth of goods and services will be around. You know, and the world GDP have exploded you know, over the last many, many years. Right? There's so much of goods and services. Right? And, and again, as you see, you know, when it comes to investing, right, there could potentially be a lot of noise, right? Noise that will really um, uh, sort of like make you very confused, you know, you don't know what's happening. And that's why I want you to look at this Dow Jones Industrial Average, okay, since nine, uh, 1896 to 2016, because this is a very backdated chart. But what I want you to see, uh, over the last 120 over years, right, do you realize that all those squishy lines on this picture, um, there is about 121 events. So means what? Every year there is a news event, which is what we call noise, right? It's like there's crisis, there's recovery, and this is a US Dow Jones Industrial Index. Okay, there were even like two world war during this period, <clears throat> and during this period there were like change of hand between presidency in US, right? So I actually covered this video about the US presidency in the earlier videos. Uh, these are basically all noise. You know, end of the day, do you realize that this Dow Jones Industrial Average, right? The general trend is where going up, right? So I, I, I think this is one thing that I want to remind everyone, and it's from Warren, and this is something that I always remind myself when there is correction, when is the market crash, you know, and this is a, a quote. So I'm going to put it here. The market is the device for transferring money from the inpatient to the patient, right? If you are if you are every day listening to all this noise, you know you are going to get very emotional, and you are not able to understand and reap the uh, the benefit of this uh, trans money transferring machine. You know that purely when people are irrational, then that's good, right? Because we are rational, 
they are going to transfer money to me. So the more I, I see people, you know, uh, going up the roller coaster, uh, a bit sad, a bit happy also in a sense. Right? Because if they don't know what they are doing, then it's very simple. I just need to be patient over the long run. Money will be transferred to me. Right? This is this wealth transfer machine in the stock market. And do understand that. And another thought that people always have right, is that, hey, I want to wait for the next correction. Okay, I can tell you, since the last correction, which is 09, you know, you know, for the for the uh, immediately after like seven years, right? Uh, everyone has been waiting for correction, right? But remember, the correction just we just had one in twenty twenty, which is like they easily wait for the next four years before the correction come. So I think is that correction is is part of the game when you are putting money into a stock market because the stock market is always not rational. So that is why. When a pre-correction environment, right, you need to prepare your portfolio to make sure that it's able to manage the risk in the event of a correction. But never wait for a correction because it is a costly strategy. And this is a report that I extracted from uh, UBS. Okay, so this is to tell you, you know, if you have put your money like a hundred dollar all the way from 1960 all the way to 2019 or May 2021. Uh, uh, do you know that your money grow multiple times comparing to someone keep uh, waiting for the 10% correction? That means every time there's a 10% correction, you get in and get in and get in. Do you realize the difference of how much you can gain by purely staying invested? And the other person will just, you know, just wait for the 10% correction to get in. That is a very big difference. It is close to probably uh, 80 times the difference. And that's a decent amount of money. So to me is normally I will tell my clients or even myself, uh, staying invested is more important, you know, comparing to you uh, uh, trying to time the market, which is something that probably uh, most is very hard for most people. And of course, lastly, right, uh, I do not want you to be too focused on uh, the day-to-day -day movement. You know why? Because this is not data. There is a loss of stock market low losses over uh, over time since 1926 to 2019. Okay, so over there it represents three types of people, which is the first one is if you are investing just one year, five years, and 15 years, you realize that you look all the way to the right. Uh, if you are investing purely one year or during that period, right, 30 27 percent of the time, right, you are potentially going to have period of losses. Right, that is how much risk that you are taking. However, if you can invest in five-year blocks, you realize that the period of losses actually dropped from 27% to 16%. And these are facts. And these are not data that I, I make up because you can actually extract it from the market. And it's actually from the source is uh, Morningstar. It's not from me. And again, is if you can invest 15-year block, okay, which is a sort of a good, uh, uh, good period you know, to reduce your risk, uh, do you realize that your period of losses is close to zero? Okay, I won't say that it's zero because there could be uh, moments that we caught us by surprise, but I mean, purely this data for the last coming to like about 100 years, I, I think these are insights that a lot of people don't get to see. So I just want to share this with you and hope that with this video, uh, is able to anchor or, 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 or change some of your understanding of the market, you know, because these are reality. Okay, in a sense, these are facts. And if you are not aware of this, I hope that this will help you to purely stay invested over the long run. You know, and most important, manage your risk. Um, don't don't listen to too much noise. You know, something that Warren Buffett keeps saying, you know, our time is not looking at the price going up and down. For us to be a very good investor, to really understand the businesses that you are investing in. How are they doing over the long run? Are they, are, is the management doing well? Are, is the financial ratios um, doing well in a sense that and is the product and services uh, on an ongoing basis in demand by consumers? I think these are very important questions when you are investing in companies, right? You are not looking at the price, right? You are investing in pure company, right? That is the main difference, okay? If you are looking at price, then you, you basically miss out the potential of this uh, stock market that can benefit you. Okay, so I hope you watch until here and you really enjoy this session. I hope you can support me in my journey by purely 
like like my channel follow me subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so i see you the next video bye everyone